as my sister would say, dude, don't wear old man shoes. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks your perfect, so I. Today, guys, we are going to run to Academy and try to uh, find some saltwater fishing poles. I do have one pole, but I need to get something like a jetty pole, and then Cody's got to get a pole. So we're going to head over to Academy, see if I can find some good shit. Let me show you a couple of mods that came in. You guys already know about the black antenna over there. Let me take you in here and show you. This is one big huge mod right here that's gonna go on the Jeep. And then we have a mod for the garage, which is the lights, the same style lights that I had on the ceiling in the garage. I got six of them for this garage. Let's head to Academy and uh, see what they got on the shelves. Now this is something I didn't have when I was in Georgia. I love this right here. Boom, there we go. I don't have to get out of the damn vehicle anymore, guys. That guy's got some big ass horns on his freaking uh, Mercedes. Some freaking long horns on his Mercedes. Look, straight from the mud like Ruby. Ruby. Straight to the stage they love me. love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. One thing I gotta say about Corpus Christi is their damn roads suck. You almost need a four wheel drive down here just to drive on the regular roads. They got potholes. I mean, this would be a bad place, guys, if you had a car like the 1LE or, I mean, it's just, the roads suck here. It's, it's just crazy how bad the roads are. Does this have anything that's worth the shit at these academies? No, no polls like they show online or anything like that. This is ridiculous here. Understand they hungry, but please don't hate that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving, I've been popping in my city. Shout it, say she love the way we do it, do it with me. There's a corn shortage. I don't have any exact change. So what I'm just out of 85 cents? Yes, I don't have the exact change for it. Unless you have the no. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you I hate this fire shit. It was in Academy. <laughs> they ain't got shit in there as far as decent poles. So we're gonna go to another academy. But I get a freaking 20 ounce drink that I just paid three bucks for because they don't have change to give me back. So you think you would charge me cheaper, you know, to make it work, but no, she charged me three dollars for this damn thing. I'll tell you, I'm sick of this freaking virus, guys. I'm sick of this shit. Why is there a change shortage? I don't understand that. Uh, maybe somebody can explain in the comments, but that's ridiculous playing three bucks for a coke when she had change there She should have gave me whatever change was in there Land game like 2D. I've been kicking shit like Bruce Lee okay. Margarita to the brim tip black denim need a slim fit yeah. Same people that I flex with be the ones that I'm in the gym with I'm a living legend you a dead cause and I'm dead ass. No, I'm dead, right? We are back home again It's like climbing a damn hill Let's go inside and I'll show you some of the tackle I got. Explain to you what's going on with the fishing license. It's crazy. <laughs> How did you know? You weren't recording? No. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a boo boo with his casting net. Brand new, we're gonna catch our own bait. First thing we got is a, a bait bucket with an aerator on it to keep the shrimp and uh, mullet living for a little while. Over here, got a cheap tackle box. Got, a, I believe it's a six foot casting net. Couldn't find an eight foot. Over here, lots of different weights, sinkers, whatever you want to call them. Some of these for fishing, uh, steel wire, whatever it's called. Um, I don't remember what they're called. But that's for surf fishing, jetty fishing. Got some, uh, Big ball and cork, cork things to them. I got some gulp to catch some trout. Over here, got some more artificial bait, soft, soft lures. Here, got the little puppy because it looked like it was uh, pretty interesting 
Something might bite, bite on that. Got some uh, fake shrimp. Two different things of it. Over here I got some more gulp. Pretty cool. Right here. Got me a pair of gloves because every great fisherman's got to have at least one glove on his hand. Got some uh, fish grip to grab a hold of the fish. Because as you guys know, most saltwater has fish has teeth. And different types of hooks. Over here for the soft plastics, I've got some jig heads. Uh, I think one's quarter, quarter weight and three eighths or something like that. I don't know. There's some more jig heads here. And then got a silver spoon. Uh Got a different line, got a 12 pound, 20 pound, 20 pound. Of course, you guys seen the casting that already. That's pretty much all the stuff I have right now to go in this tackle box. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about the, uh, we don't have a dining room table yet. <laughs> Fishing gear becomes, uh, is more of a necessity than a dining room table, uh, I guess, you know. You gotta, you gotta catch that fish, man. Uh, so let me explain to you what's going on with the Texas fishing license. It's fixing to expire, I believe it's August the 31st. So I can't get a resident license because you gotta be a resident of Texas for six months. So I have to get a non-resident, which is twice the amount. I believe it's like 65 bucks. So if I buy one right now, it will end August the 31st and then I would have to rebuy one again. So I gotta wait till August the 15th for 20, 21 to go on sale and buy a non-resident one for the first year I guess and then after six months I can I can get a residential license but it's just more money I mean it's crazy I'm gonna show you a couple more poles we got one of them's Cody's and show you a little bit more tackle that we have all right got a couple of ugly sticks and then got some new reels to go on here the red one's mine the black one's Cody's and then this is one of the poles I have because I always have to have two. I didn't um, give me a deep or a surf pole because they're three or four hundred bucks and there's some more weights and some, um, oh, I forget what those are called. I couldn't afford to get a surf pole or jetty pole right now because they're like three or four hundred bucks. And uh, once, once I start working and stuff like that, then I'll eventually get one. But that's what we're going to start out with. And I believe we can bring in... 20 pound fish, maybe 25 pound fish. The water's warm, guys. It's warm. Yeah, it's warm as shit. One thing you gotta be careful when you're walking in the water is you gotta shuffle your feet because of the stingrays. That would hurt like hell. You hear that, Cody? Yeah. Shuffle with your feet before you walk. Watch, he ain't gonna go that far out. He's he's chicken little there. He, he's scared of sharks and shit that bite him. But when he was a kid, he'd get all the way up to his neck. Let's see if he remembers how to throw this thing. He used to be the casting casting net guy. He'd throw it. You think he could still throw it? Yes, I can still throw it. Actually, I'm glad I didn't get you the damn eight footer. What the hell happened to your knees? Huh? What's that from? You know what they say when when a man's knees is all bru bruised up. The fuck up. <laughs> Maybe I don't know Cody as well as I know him. Shit! <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's huge. I would say he sucks. What the fuck? Here, hold my camera. Don't drop it. Yes. <laughs> How do you know what ass smells like? Look, I have an ass. You, do, <laughs> you gotta wrap it. Oh. I forget. Why didn't you tell me that? Because you didn't ask. And then I gotta figure out how to get. I mean, you got it more open than me. Wait, let me go. I didn't think about wrapping it. Let me do that. 
Cody caught some uh, mullet. Uh, actually, that's not a mullet. That's a uh, pinfish or something. I don't know. But he did have a mullet down there. But, yeah, I'll let it go. Throw it out there again. That was perfect. Well, that is around his gill right there on the right. Hold the net. His, his gill, the, the, the net is on his gill. Bro, you're killing him. No, I'm not. I mean, sometimes you don't have a choice to get them out of there because they're going to die the longer you have them out of the water. There, there we go. See that? I did that with one hand, guys. One hand. No, I didn't. He took literally three. fish meat on the fucking net. That scales. It's right there. Whatever. You killed them. Throw fish. it one more time. Dislike whichever one you prefer, and we'll see you next video.